everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today's video is for some new box cards that I have come up with. So these are called a scene box card and that's because instead of just popping up, they kind of have a scene going on behind them. And they fold flat, <clears throat> they measure five by seven, so they fit in a five by seven or an A7 envelope. And I have designed a new envelope just for Christmas for these boxes and for all of the A A7 cards. So let's go ahead and do the envelope first and then I will show you the three cards and we will assemble those. I'm gonna move these out of the way. And the envelope actually just has three pieces. It has a printable on there that says Merry Christmas and a little banner. And I'll show those to you here in just a second. And then the um, envelope. I don't know if you can see that whole thing because it's kind of big. This does need to be cut out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And you can either use cardstock or printed paper. Um, if you can find the printed paper, like the copy weight, it works really well, but the cardstock will work as well also. There are eight score lines and you're gonna take all of those score lines and you're going to fold them down. So right on the top, we'll fold one. And you wanna put, um, get a good crease. And then right above that, there's a second one. I'm gonna fold it. And then we're gonna just do that all the way around the envelope. So we're gonna fold it on that first one. Press it really well and then fold it on the second one. And the second one is a little bit trickier. You might have to work with it just in a second. But that's what gives it the thickness to the envelope and works perfectly for these box cards. Do it on the bottom. And then again on the side. Okay, now I'm going to open that all up and I'm gonna flip it over to the back. Nope, I'm gonna do it while this is still down and I'm gonna put tape along that right side. So, quarter of an inch, sorry. Okay, when well, we're gonna fold it or flip it back over so everything's pointing up towards us and we're gonna fold the tab that we've put the tape down first. And then the second tab We have put it down and then let's go ahead and tape the bottom flap. You want to make sure that you're not getting tape on the score lines, that you're just getting it on the edge. And there is the envelope. So when you put your card in there, then you would glue this flap closed. We also have the Merry Christmas banner. And you can use this or not. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. I do have a video that shows how to print it. And if you, if you wanted to change it and say happy holidays or something else. So once that's done, you can either put it on the back of your sealed envelope or you could turn it over and put it on the front in the corner. Now you would address up here and down here, so you wanna make sure that it's not where any of the ad addresses are gonna be. Um, I would only do this really if I were hand delivering this. I would only put it on the front if I were hand delivering it because chances are if you send this to the post office, they're gonna put a stamp, you know, one of their stamps over the top of it. So if you were mailing it, I would probably put it on the back and make sure that it's glued down really well. When you mail these, these will mail. Um, they do take extra postage and I can't remember, I did some a while ago and I I can't remember. I think it was like a dollar to 10 to mail it, but don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. So anyway, there is the envelope that fits these cards perfectly. And I, this was my practice. And it just slides right in there. Open it up and it slides right back out. 
Okay, so let's jump to the cards. I have three of them. We're going to start with the home, and this would be perfect for winter or Christmas. All of these cards come with a printable sentiment. So this one says, from our home to yours. And we have the little background. We have the front insert piece, and you'll know that it's the front because it has an F on the side. And this one has a Christmas tree. You have the middle piece. You'll know that it's middle because it has an M. It's cut out with the, the letter in them so that you'll know where to place them. And then we have the back piece. It has a B on it, and it also has a Christmas tree. And then we have the scene or the back of the card, and this one has some snowflakes on it. There's six snowflakes, and they are kind of tiny, but they will work fine with this card. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this back piece and we're going to fold up the edges on those score lines. And now I'm going to add my snowflakes to the back. It doesn't really matter where you put them. They are kind of tiny, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue right in the center and use a glue that will dry clear so that um, when they're dry, you don't see that big glob of glue right there. And I'm going to put these kind of more on the sides of the, the back because you're going to have your house right there and with the chimney. But there's no exact placement. Wherever you want them is fine. I'm going to show you up close what these little snowflakes look like. They are kind of tiny, so when you're pulling them off the mat, I would suggest using a spatula. If you start pulling on the edges, you might rip them. But I have done it on both machines, and I haven't had any problem with them cutting. Okay, so there is our back piece. Let's go ahead and set that aside. And let's start with the very back piece. So this one has the snow and it has a tree, which is three layers. So it has the full tree, the green part of the tree, and then a snow cap. So we're gonna add the brown part first, and you will wanna cut this out of brown or whatever color you want your tree trunk, because that's the only piece that's gonna show or the only part that's going to show on this tree. And these inside pieces, the insert pieces, you'll want to cut out of white or cream. They're supposed to look like snow as well, this piece right here. I'm going to cut our tree out. And add our snow cap. And there is our back piece. It is finished. I'm going to go ahead and do the front piece as well because it is the same thing. It has the snow and another tree with the same three pieces. It's just a little bit of a smaller tree. that brown. Again, this is just the trunk is all that's going to show. And the green part. And you can ink these up and really give it some dimension or cut it out of some green pattern paper or even some paper that like have little Christmas ornaments on it. So many options. Okay, so there is our front piece. The second or the middle piece is the one that has the house. So it has the most 
pieces, but it's not hard. It has a door. It has two square windows. Has two rounded uh, windows. The roof, the actual house, and then the um, insert piece. Now the insert piece I cut out of white because the windows are gonna show through. But you could do it out of yellow if you wanted it to look like your house had lights on it. Um, I just like the white and it matched everything else that I was doing. I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue to this. Oh, I might be running out of glue. And then just match up the chimney first. And then everything else should be fine. Go ahead and add the roof piece with the window cutouts. And just match up the windows and the edges there. And now we can add our doors and our window frame. And if you really got enthusiastic, you could ink those up. You could um, run it through an embossing machine to make it look like wood or bricks. There are so many things that you could do to really make this super fancy. These cards go together pretty quick, especially after you've done the first one. I'm just going to add some glue to that window frame. And then we have the second square window frame. You can make your little house any color you want. I was kind of going for a Christmassy color, but the card says from our home to yours, so you can make it look like the colors of your house, or you could make it look like the colors of the person you're giving it to. Um, so many options. Let's put this last brown piece on. Okay, set that aside, and there is your middle piece. And then next, we're going to add our from our home to yours to this front um, decorative piece. Whoops, sorry. Oh, my tape runner is just about out. I may have to stop the video and change that out. To assemble it, we're going to take all of our pieces and we're going to fold the tabs down or away from us, right on those score lines. So there's the middle, there's the front, and there's the back. I also need to take the words and tape them to the front piece. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to assemble it. So I'm going to take my um, back and I'm going to take the first piece and I'm going to put open it up and I'm going to put tape on both of those tabs with it facing me. Okay, I'm going to take this tab and fold it over and we're going to or flip it over and we're going to take the edge of the tab and line it up right along the score line on the right side, matching the bottoms. So just like that. So there's the score line, there's the edge of the card. I'm gonna flip it over, and then the edge should be right along the score line. 
my finger stuck on the glue. And we're gonna fold that over. Then I'm gonna fold that back and forth a couple of times to make sure that it's working. Okay, we're gonna take the middle section and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put glue on the two tabs. This time, we're gonna fold this over to the right and I'm gonna put the edge of this tab right behind the edge of that back tab, matching the bottom. Fold it over and then do the same thing on this side. Fold it and put the edge right behind the edge of that first tab. Okay, and then we're gonna take the last one and put tape on both of those tabs again. And this time, instead of matching up right behind the second tab, we're gonna fold this over and we are going to match it right along the edge of the card base. Line up the bottoms. So let's see if you can see that. The folded edge is right along the line. And we're gonna do that with this piece just in case we got off on one of the other pieces. We want that to line up right with the front. And then do the same on this side. Oh, and I did, I got off. There we go. And there is From Our Home to Yours box card. Seeing box card, isn't that so cute? And it just slides into that envelope. Okay, the next one is our reindeer special delivery for you. This is a little Santa's reindeer with some gifts. So we have the front has the printable special delivery for you. And it has two small gifts. So it has the boxes, the box lids, box lids, excuse me, and the bows. The middle piece is our um, reindeer. The back piece is two larger gifts. And then the very back piece, the base, is just a base. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold these up and score on those, or fold on those score lines. And then set that aside. Let's do our reindeer piece next because he has the most parts. So he's the middle section. And he has two hoofs, the nose, his muzzle, I think that's what that's called, is a muzzle, eyes, which are two pieces, they're the white and the red, or white and the black, the inner ears, which I cut out of red, but you could do pink or any other color. His face, his horns, and then the um, insert piece does not have the horns on there for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't want it to be too heavy, and second, um, I, I didn't want the green showing through your horns. Now on my muzzle, I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do, but I'm gonna just add some cheeks. So I'm gonna take my Distress Crayon, and this is from uh, Tim Holtz. I'll move this over so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to color on a makeup sponge. And then we're just gonna add some cheeks kind of on the top there. Nothing too fancy. If you had chalk, you could do this with chalk as well, or an ink pad, or skip this step. You don't have to do it. I've done plenty of little projects with my reindeer without the cheeks. I think they're just kind of a little bit cute. And that's all I'm going to do. You could go through and um, 
shade or highlight this whole piece if you wanted to, but I don't think that we need to. Okay, so let's go ahead and build him up now and take my, uh, my horn piece, the background piece. We're gonna put glue on it, but don't put any glue on, not the horns, antlers. That's what those are called, antlers. So don't put any pieces on the antlers. And then just line that up. Don't put any glue on the antlers. I've done a lot of videos today, I'm getting tired. Next, we're gonna take his face. And glue that on. I'm going to lay the muzzle on there, but I'm not going to glue it just yet. I want to do the eyes because I want them to just slip under there a little bit. Then add the black parts of the eyes. And depending on which way you have his eyes pointed, you can get all kinds of looks for your reindeer. Now we will go ahead and glue that muzzle on. And his nose. And his ears, inside of his ears. And then his feet. His hooves. And if you want to, you can take your Sharpie and give him some little freckles or a mouth, um, whatever that you want to do to decorate your little reindeer. Okay, so that piece is done. Let's do the back piece. And it has two big bows two box lids, and two boxes. I think these gifts would be so fun cut out of some Christmas printed paper to look like your, your wrapping paper. Dots, stripes, something with a pattern. Um, I just, I love that idea. And these are kind of like at an angle, like they're tipping over, they're so heavy. Rudolph's been carrying the sleigh with presents all night long. They're kind of been sliding around. Then we're gonna add the bows. Now the bows are to go on the top so when you glue those on, you're not going to put glue on the top. You're going to put it in the middle and down on the tails. The same with this bigger bow. Okay, there is the back piece, back insert piece. And then we have the front piece. So let's go ahead and add gift number one, the bigger one. I love Christmas, I really do. It's one of my favorite times of the year. 
I love to give presents. One of my favorite things to do is wrap. And everybody hates wrapping. I always volunteer to do it because I just love to get everything out, turn some Christmas music on, and spend the day wrapping presents. It really is one of my favorite parts. What's your favorite part of the holidays? Family, love hanging out with my family. That probably really is my favorite part. Um, the food, decorating the tree, wrapping presents. I love it all. Celebrating the birth of our Savior. I just love it all. All right, so there is the insert piece, and we're going to add our sentiment to that. You'll notice that I switch a lot between the glue and the tape runner. I love both of them, and I think both of them have a perfect place, so I use them both. Special delivery for you. Okay. Now that we've got our insert pieces, let's take all of them and turn the tabs down or away from us. I'm gonna start with our back piece. Again, it has the B cut out of the tab, so you'll know that it's the back piece. And we're going to put tape on both sides, or both tabs. Lay it down so that this edge is right along the score line. And you can do it either flat with it like this, or you can fold it over and do it on the other side, which I just did on the last card. Either way works. When you're done, you want that edge right along the score line. And then you're gonna fold this over and put the edge of this tab right along the edge of the score line over here, matching up the bottom. Take our reindeer, which is the middle piece. It has the M cut out of it. And let's add tape to both sides. And we're gonna do the same thing. We want this edge to line up right behind that edge of the fold where the tab is. And along the bottom, you want it to match along the bottom. You want this edge right behind the tab or the score line of that first insert, the back insert. Okay. And then our front piece, do the same thing. Add tape to both of those. going to fold that tab and we want it right on the edge of the card. I've got some glue on the, that side and then we want to fold this tab and we want it right on the edge of that card, of that side. And there is, oops, let's get those pieces so they're not all tangled up. There is our little reindeer. He looks like he's looking down at the presents. Special delivery for you. You can also flip this over. You could put a gift card or a note on the back. 
Okay, the last one we're going to do today is our ho, 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 who needs sand? So I figured that we have a lot of people that celebrate Christmas in the warmer clients, climates, and so I decided to do one with Santa on the beach. So our first one, or excuse me, our printable says, who needs snow? Our first front insert has a gift, a bucket, a starfish, and a shovel. Our middle insert has Santa's sleigh with a bag and a bow. Our back insert has two coconut trees or palm trees. And then the back says, ho, ho, ho. So I'm going to wait on gluing the ho, ho, ho on until we get everything else on there. So I'm going to just slide those up to the top. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take this piece and score it on the sides, just like we did the others. take our front piece and we're going to assemble it. So I'm going to take my Who Needs Snow and add some tape to it and add it to the embellishment panel. I do have videos for both Cricut and Silhouette of how to um, do the printables, how to do the print and cut how to change them or how to delete them. So make sure if you haven't seen those videos that you check them out. Okay, our first insert, it says F right there. We have a starfish. We have a little bucket. These are kind of, or a little shovel. These are kind of tiny pieces. We have the bucket. We have the bucket background with a handle. We have a bow, the lid box, and the gift. So I'm going to take my bucket and you're not going to put glue on the handle we're just going to glue it right onto there next we're going to take the whoops i bumped that that's not on there very straight let's see if i can pull it off There we go. Okay, now we're gonna take the actual bucket and glue it on. I'm gonna glue the starfish. And I'm not gonna put glue on everything because it's gonna be kind of half hanging off. And these insert pieces should be cut out of brown because they're supposed to resemble sand. And then we have our little shovel. Again, some tiny pieces, but your machine is gonna do just fine in cutting them out. Not a problem at all. Okay, let's do the gift. And the lid box. And the bow. Now, on the bow, we're not going to put glue where the loops are because it's going to be above the box. So we're just going to put it on that middle and down on the tails. There is the first piece. Set that aside. The middle piece has our sleigh in it with the bag. The sleigh has the runner, the full sleigh, a bow for the bag, and the gift bag. The bag was all of Santa's gifts. And Santa's not in here. We're assuming he's out playing in the water. 
I'm gonna glue that on. Glue your sleigh on. And then the bow again for the bag. And this time it's gonna hang over, but not by much. So just kind of put the glue right in the middle. And the runner. I think this runner would be fun cut out of like some metallic paper or glitter paper. Lots of different ways to do it. Okay, there is your middle piece. And then the back piece has our palm trees or our uh, coconut trees. There's four coconut. I'm going to pull those off and glue them together first just so they can dry a little bit. So we've got a lighter brown and the darker brown. And if you did that beach curvy cards, I did one with palm trees on it. And these are almost the same. They're a little bit different. I changed them up a little bit, but they're, they're close to the same as the palm trees. All right. And I'm going to hold that up really close so you can see what it looks like. Those are our coconuts. Okay, you have two leaves for each tree. One's cut from the lighter and one's cut from the darker. And then you also have two tree trunks. You will want to make sure that you've got these going in the right direction. And it doesn't matter which one you start with, if you want to do the lighter one first or the darker one. Glue those on there and match them up. And you could um, add some shading to your sand to give it a lot of dimension. If you watch my curvy card video with all the beach curvy cards, that's what I did with the sand house or the sand castle, and it looks really good. Okay, next up, we're gonna add our coconuts. You don't have to add the coconuts if you don't want to. Um, I kind of like to think Santa's on a Hawaiian vacation. And there is the back insert piece. Okay, before I start to assemble this, I want to take my background and I'm going to lay down my middle piece right in the front and decide where I want my letters, my ho, ho, ho. Because you want them to be able to be read. If they're stuck under a tree a little bit, that's okay, but you don't want them like completely hidden under a tree. So I think that looks pretty good. And I cut these out of my machine with paper. You could also cut them out of vinyl. I know I have said before that I like doing the lettering in vinyl. 
Um, I just think it works really well and looks really nice, but this one is done on the paper. Oh, I meant to bring that one down just a little bit lower. Let's see, is that stuck yet? Yep, it's just going to have to stay there. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so now we're going to take all of these tabs and we're going to fold everything down away from us. So there's tab, or insert the back, the middle insert. I'm going to fold it down. And the top insert, fold it down. And let's add our Who Needs Snow to that front one. And I actually probably should have done that first because I want, wanted my bucket and my... And my starfish on top of there. I'm not going to mess with that, but... Okay, let's assemble it. So take our first tab, our first insert piece, the one that says back, has the B on it right there. And put tape on both tabs. Lay it down so the edge of this tab is right along the score line and the bottoms match up. Not the bottom of the tab, the bottom of the full piece. Just like that. Fold it open. And then this one should line up right next to there, to that score line. Fold it over. Let's do the same thing with our sleigh, which is our middle piece. It has the M on it. And we're gonna put the edge of the tab right behind that fold line of the back insert, lining up the bottom. Put this tab right behind the fold of the back insert piece. Oh my goodness, I have a hard time talking and doing it at the same time today. And then our front piece, we're going to put tape on both those tabs. Fold them over. And we want the score line right along the edge of the card. Lining up the bottom. And then the same thing on this side right along the edge, lining up the bottom. And there is our Santa sleigh on the beach. Ho, 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 who needs snow? I hope you've enjoyed these cards. I hope that you'll give one or two or all three of them a try. Don't forget the envelope. Thank you for joining me today. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Give me a thumbs up. And have a great day.